Brilliant. So in this first part of this masterclass, we're going to deal with curriculums. Now, curriculums is the newest feature on the crew platform. We just launched this last week or last week, but one. And this is essentially a tool that can help you to, number one, bundle tracks into uh, bundle tracks together so that you can build either a course or a project or a program. And number two, you can also visualize the reporting for your teams and users as they move through the bundles of the tracks that you've created. And then finally, you can be able to replicate the courses, programs, or projects into a new platform uh, or a new instance. That means that you uh, allow, uh, or rather the feature allows you to share the content and to be able to replicate it basically within seconds. So for example, a good use case is uh, right here on the crew support platform. So the course that you meet on the dashboard, if you enter the crew platform, the RIG, which is the support platform, the course uh, or rather the content that you find on the dashboard is called the build your crew course, which is essentially built for orienting leaders just like yourselves on how to build your crew platform and how to utilize uh, you know, the features that are available on the platform. So this is a great example of curriculum could look like on your platform. Uh, so if you want to bundle this curriculum into, uh, or if you want to bundle the tracks into one curriculum, then you use the curriculum uh, panel. And it's very easy to, na to navigate to it, which uh, basically you find it at the very top of your program management section of that main panel. So to create a curriculum, all you need to do is to simply click on create a curriculum, give it a title, give it a description and find the tracks that you're looking for. Uh, so this is the first, you know, uh, easy way of, or rather the first way of putting together a curriculum. So for example, uh, with the build your crew course, you could call the course build your crew. Uh, and then you give it a short description. Uh, uh, could be go through this content. So, the features orientation. And then the, the next thing is just to come and click on the tracks that you want uh, to get into that curriculum. So, essentially, once you've built up your tracks, uh, then you can come to curriculum and bundle them together. So the track list that will appear when you click on create a new curriculum are the tracks that are really already available on your platform and have already been published. So for example, with this use case where we are creating the build your crew bundle, we would add uh, the crew courses. One, two, let's add the first three for instance. Say we want this to be treated as a curriculum. So what this feature also does is that it automatically numbers uh, the, the tracks. So you can see here one, you can see here two, you can see here three. Uh, so it's just helping you to, or rather it's just a visual support icon that helps indicate the order in which uh, the tracks uh, are aligned. And once you're done, you just need to come and click on save and your curriculum has been bundled. So that is the first thing. Uh, that is available. So your curriculum has been bundled. So as you can see with the crew platform support or crew support platform, you can see we have four bundles of different tracks. So this is the one that we've just created with the first three uh, tracks. So the features that are available to you as uh, you want to use the curriculum or rather as the feature has been developed as per now, is number one, you can arrange a curriculum into a group. You can also start a new instance or a new platform using the curriculum that you have created. And finally, you can visualize reports using the curriculum that you've created. So let's go step by step, starting with an internal one, arranging a curriculum into a group. So what are some of the ways that this could be used? So arranging curriculum into a group is basically an internal feature for your platform is very internal. Then there are a couple of use cases for arranging a curriculum into a group. So for example, imagine you're an organization which hosts very many curriculums in your platform and you want to put your curriculums in groups so that members 
are able to access different curricula using the groups uh, function. So that is that could be one use case. Say you have a curriculum on mental health and then you have another curriculum on entrepreneurship. You could use groups to bundle them together. Number two, imagine you're an organization which hosts the same curriculum for different cohorts of students. So you may create you know, different groups for each cohort. So it is the same curriculum, say an entrepreneurship curriculum, but then you have a group that is for you know, entrepreneurship curriculum cohort one, and then you have another group called entrepreneurship curriculum cohort two. That means you're able to replicate the content into groups very easily. So let's use uh, this platform again to showcase how you're able to use that feature to add groups onto your platform. So once your curriculum is ready, just like our piece, our second one here, uh, once your curriculum is ready, you just need to come to the settings bar here and click on create the group. Create group is the third action in your settings uh, when you click on that. So it will ask you to give the group a title. So let's give the group a title, say, you know, build your crew group, say summer. 2023 and then you select which category you want to have that group in remember last time you spoke about group categories so you select the category that is available so this could be true communities and then you click on create and configure the group so it will bring you uh it will bring you to this group creator wizard which is just like the same as what we spoke about in the last uh, call where we're talking about program management tools and talked about groups. So the things that you need to do is set the group basics, which is your group title, the subtitle, uh, if you want to add one, and then, you know, uh, change the category if you need to, and then choose an icon that will appear on the group card. So that could be the icon. So it's called build your crew groups summer 2023 and then you go to next you have your overview and the overview use this as an introduction to the group so here uh, introduce the purpose of the group to whoever needs that information so for the members they will come in and they will see that that is the overview of the group and then the next thing is your group settings use this to decide where is going to be your landing page do you want people when they click, click on the group do you want them to land on the overview? Do you want them to land on the tracks? Do you want them to land on conversations? And then the next thing is to select your posts and numbers. So automatically it will, as the person who has created the group, it will add you as a host. Uh, however, you can add more people as hosts, and then you can choose which members are allowed to join. So once you're done, uh, you can complete the setup with tracks, events, if there are any, and conversations. And you can either save the group as draft or publish the group. And you can see our group has been saved as draft here. And once you're ready to publish it, just come and click on publish and it will appear on the dashboard and on the group library of the users. So that is instance number one. Instance number two is where you can arrange a curriculum into a new platform instance. So this is the first option that you will see when you click on the settings. Uh, which is create a community. So this option is really meant to save you some time whenever you're duplicating content for really whatever you use, because it takes a lot of time to build up content. So this just helps you to find a way of copy pasting. So let me give you a couple of use cases of when this will be relevant. So organizations building content on different platforms for different users. So you could be an organization who decides you know, we want our content to live in different platforms, but then you need to be careful with that because you need to then have the capacity to uh, be able to manage all the different platforms that you create. So if you'd like to share the content that you've created with different users, uh, you know, you could create a different platform for each of them. That ensures that your, you know, plat uh, platforms or other users in different platforms never get to engage with each other. Number two, think about organizations who are able to share curricula with other organizations or individuals. So it is no secret that it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of resources, and a lot of experts to build content and to build a coherent curriculum. And sometimes organizations would like to share that curriculum with other organizations. So for example, 
uh, one organization which is an early user of this feature is 10 billion strong. 10 billion strong is a program that uses crew and they have really built an in-depth curriculum on climate change and environmental justice. And they are interested in sharing that curriculum with other organizations. So this feature helps them to create an instance for other organizations uh, by simply clicking uh, one button. So the key advantages, and you may be wondering why one organization wants to share their curriculum with another organization. So the key advantages of using this feature as we see it include number one, an increased partnership base. By you being able to share your curriculum, you can establish valuable connections, valuable partnerships with you know, small organizations that do not have the time, do not have the resources uh, to create that curriculum uh, on their own. And this leads to mutual support, mutual knowledge exchange, potential collaborative initiative and, and initiatives and so on. Uh, the second advantage as we see it is an expanded content reach. So for example, if you have a target of reaching 1 million users with your curriculum, you may not need to, you know, have all the 1 million users on your platform, but you could also have small organizations share that content. And this feature also allows you to, you know, visualize that reporting and see how many people are using my curriculum in different platforms. The next one is resource optimization for small organizations. Definitely by providing organizations with access to your curriculum, you empower them to launch their platforms a bit more efficiently and a bit more effectively. And this resource optimization helps them to focus on other critical aspects of their initiatives while leveraging your proven educational materials. So if you want to really share uh, or you want someone else to build their platform but have access to your curriculum, you can go ahead and use this feature. So simply uh, to use this feature, you need to click on the settings uh, button and the little pop-up will show up and it will show you an example of, uh, it will, the, the very first option will be, you know, create community. And when you create this button, when you click this button, it will give you a link that you can copy either to your website, either to an email, whatever. And once someone uses this link, they'll be able to create a platform using that curriculum. So let's take an example here and use this link and say, create a community. So it will bring you to a pop-up. It will bring you to what we call the community or the platform creator pop-up. And so you, what you need to do is to just fill up uh, the forms. So let me fill this in using some content that I had created earlier. So we could call our community name Bright Minds Community and say we are located in any town in USA. What is the title of the person who is doing this? You say it's the director. How is your organization incorporated? You select whatever is relevant, and then you place on the community mission, community vision as well. The next question is, how will you use this platform? Uh, you provide content on how you will use the platform as required, and then you confirm that your members are over 13. Uh, in the US and other parts and over 16 in the EU. Then you click on save and continue. Then we will ask you what name do you want to give this platform? It could be, you know, Right Minds platform. What is the domain name? It could be brightminds.crewplatform.org. Is this an open uh, or closed community? You select whatever is relevant to you. We spoke about this in the crew introductions and general settings. What are the colors? Basically, you're creating a new, um, a new platform. So what are the colors that you want to appear there? What is the text color? What are the logos? You also can upload the logos. And then you continue. And then finally, it will ask you to tell us more about the, your audience. Basically, to you know which category best fits your community. Could be fellowship. And then you click on create platform. And just like that, uh, you know, it will ask you to 
you know, give it 20 seconds for you for it to redirect you to your new community. I want to show you one thing that it also shows, or rather what pops up on your uh, email. Once you have started that creation, it will bring you this pop-up uh, that, you know, is part of the platform creator wizard that welcomes you a series of emails that, uh, you know, welcome, it looks like you've started a community on the crew platform. So on the crew platform, it will ask you to log in. And there you go. So just like that, all the curriculum has been brought into a new instance and has been placed on the dashboard. So as you can see, the curriculum that we copied from this instance has been brought to a new instance and has been placed on the dashboard. Now you can go ahead to, you know, really um, change whatever is needed and make that user experience fit for the new platform. Now, one major thing that you might want to think about is attributing content. If you're sharing your content with a small organization or with an individual, how do you want to attribute that content? So some ideas could be, you know, on the track cards. So you see the track cards remain similar as the ones that you had on the crew platform. So you can add your logo to the track, uh, to the track cards, for example, that attributes the content for you. Uh, the other example is that you can add in the content, for example, in the introduction and say, you know, this track was built by Seeds of Fortune or this track was built by X organization. Uh, the next thing is you can also attribute content by using the pla platform title uh, or subdomain. So it, it could be um, Feel Good by Cheese World or X and X organization or X and X curriculum by X organization. So that helps attribute the content to you. The last feature of the curriculums um, panel is really to visualize your reporting. Uh, we are very excited about this feature because it's quite progressive for program managers who want to know where everyone uh, in terms of how where everyone is in terms of engaging with that program. So once you click here, you have two kinds of reports. Number one, completion report and sharing report. On completion report, you get the report of how people are completing the uh, how people are completing the curriculum in your community. So if you click on this, it will open a report of where of how people are completing the curriculum. So on the report, you will see teams on the other end and then tracks that are in that curriculum. So these are the tracks in the Build Your Crew curriculum, the ton of them. And you can see uh, it's, a, it's quite visual. Um, and if you click on any of these titles or portions of segment, you're going to find you know, the titles of each of the action within that track. So if you click on this, it will show you that this is the action within this track. And it will show you uh, uh, that this has been completed by two out of 10 members from the crew admins team. So you can see that you know it, it also adds vis visual uh, essence in the sense that once many people complete in a team, then the, the reporting becomes very bright orange. When it's very few people, then the reporting is less. Uh, is orange, but it's um, not not a lot of orange. So this report uh, is not downloadable into a PSV uh, because it's just a visualizer and it's not data of you know looking at what is X in correlation with Y. However, there are very many variables that you know go into building this report. So if you want to download this data into a raw CSV and check the completion and check the number of the people who completed certain actions or projects, then you can do them in your custom uh, reports that we will talk about on Tuesday. The second report is the sharing report, which will show you the number of communities that have been built using that, uh, using that curriculum. So you can see that that specific curriculum has built four communities, which is number one, build your share crew test one, build your share crew test two, community mental health and break minds community. These are all test platforms that we've been building and you can see, you know, uh, track completions is one, action completions is five, 
and so on. So it visualizes for you, you know, how people are going through your content uh, in other platforms. Brilliant. That brings us to the end of curriculums.